Of course, I don't have to ask which is the most beautiful plane in Ben-Gurion, Tel Aviv, isn't it? I don't have to ask which is Mirror Mirror, which is the most beautiful plane in Ben-Gurion Airport. It is our new baby, Malaysia. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the channel once again. Welcome to the delayed flight. Such a lovely day today in Ben Gurion Airport, and uh, I want to say this: that three times I used the word revolution. This is a revolution. I have said this thing actually two times. Today will be the third one. This is a revolution. And then I was thinking that uh, you are not obliged to have a revolutionary spirit, isn't it? So we can as well say this is a breakthrough, isn't it? This is a revolution. This is a breakthrough. So the first breakthrough, to remind you the other two, the first breakthrough was about F5 and F6 on the keyboard. A s d f are the commands of the drone camera and the first breakthrough was that if you press together one of these letters with let's say f5 or better with f6 let's start with f6 with f6 you see that the camera accelerates and if we want to decelerate we press at the same time one of these four buttons a s d f and F5, here it goes, you see. So that was the first breakthrough. This I didn't know, and I have mentioned it already another time. You see, F6, accelerate, and with F5, we decelerate. Here it goes. Now, the second time, that we used the word breakthrough or revolution, this is a breakthrough, this is a revolution, was in slew mode command, which is Y. Okay, now I press, for instance, Y. Exactly, here it goes. And uh, with a cross on the numpad, 8462. Isn't it? This definitely, I suppose, you know. You can navigate wherever you want and I'm talking about an airport actually. I don't use this while airborne. Now what was new to me and what was really a revolution, a breakthrough was that you can as well turn the plane with numbers three and one on the number. This I didn't know. And this gives you the ability to just place yourself exactly where you want to be let's say somewhere here oh by the way uh okay you go to slew mode with y with letter y on the keyboard when you press a second time uh y to go out of slew mode just remember to go here on the camera and have all these three deactivated track ir follow mode and lock mode here it goes exactly so now we're back on drone mode and ladies and gentlemen today I will show to you the third breakthrough or the third revolution if you prefer so for those of you that uh, have purchased an Nvidia card which is quite uh, likely Nvidia cards are not bad at all definitely the third breakthrough is ALT plus F3 this really I didn't know to be honest. Alt and F3. Here it goes. Exactly like this. You press Alt and F3. By the way, please don't forget that you must, if you had purchased an NVIDIA card, you must have GeForce experience on. You register since you have an NVIDIA card and when the game starts, you have NVIDIA GeForce running. I don't remember, is it NVIDIA GeForce or NVIDIA X-Force? I really don't remember. 
I think it is GeForce. So go to NVIDIA, site and register and definitely maybe it is by default you have NVIDIA GeForce running during the game. And then you must be, this is the second precondition, precondition, you shall be inside the game. The game must be running, otherwise it will not work. The game must be running. Alt F3, here it goes. Also, I suggest you to try this when you are either airborne or when you are in an airport and not when you are on the main screen because you can see better the results. Of course, I don't have to ask which is the most beautiful plane in Ben Gurion Tel Aviv, isn't it? I don't have to ask which is Mirror Mirror, which is the most beautiful plane in Ben Gurion Airport. It is our new baby, Malaysia. And I have mentioned this already that I would like to fly with Malaysia. And this is the brand new livery of the 777-200 that I was telling you about, that I wanted to download. Finally, I found it in flight CMTO and I downloaded it. Let's get started. Alt F3. Here it is. You have here some miracles. You have the ability to choose three different styles that you customize. One, two, three. Or to set these options to off. Now here it is to off. I have Let's have a look at uh, the most basic uh, features because you can uh, play and you can uh, search a lot the options that you prefer. So here it goes. Alt F3. First style. Definitely you choose Sharpen, which is this one. And here, for instance, my settings was 40-30. 40, 30. 40 and this set to 30. Done. Alt F3 again. Then definitely we go to Color. You add the Color filter, which is this one. We added the filter already. And here my settings are 5. Maybe you can see it changing a little bit. Okay. 6. I continue. Minus 11.5 for temperature. Okay, minus 11.6. And here plus 10.5 for vibrance, exactly here. Maybe you can already notice that the screen changed a little bit. And the third one, the third filter that I chose is brightness and contrast. This one we open here. Exposure 10%, it is just excellent. And the others I set to zero. So, okay, okay, and gamma zero, and then it's done, done. So if I go now Alt F3, we see that this is my first style, and here are, once again, my settings for brightness and contrast, you can have a look. Here are my settings for color, isn't it? Exactly, 5, 6, minus 11, and 10. And sharpen plus, we set intensity 40 and texture details 30. And this is the first style that I created and I liked very much. And it looks something like this, done once again. So when you try all these settings, I think it looks really nice. Of course, the weather helps a lot. When you try all the settings, better to be either airborne or in an airport to see the results. And uh, you can continue, isn't it? Because there are so many other filters. You can add other filters. And in the end, you press done. Now, if you don't like something, you just go here to the cycle bin and you delete. And also, uh, I wanted to say something else, uh, by the way. Actually, that was all saved. 
And here is another advice that was all saved. And uh, it was to me a little bit strange that uh, somehow disappeared. My settings have disappeared when I started this clip. But maybe this has to do uh, with a with an update today. It has to do with an update of uh, MSFS 2020 today. I think 25 of April. Uh, and uh, it seems that uh, the settings disappeared. And also I was saying that another advice is that whenever MSFS 2020 updates the game, please always check your settings. Because lots of times I found out that my settings have changed. Lots of times happened this and of course I have written down the values that I prefer and I can restore them easily. I suggest you to do the same. But uh, just uh, check it out if your settings, I mean uh, general options, isn't it? The graphic settings and so on have changed. Ladies and gentlemen, I think this is all for now. Alt F3 is the magic button. I can show you quickly my settings once again. Here it is, exposure 10 and the rest is set to zero. That was the brightness contrast adjustment, color, exactly as you see here, 5, 6, minus 11.5 and uh, plus 10.5 and sharpen is 40 and 30. And of course, as I said, you can uh, continue you can uh, find uh, something that you like and you can add also other filters here all these filters and you can uh, select your desired values and when you are done just press done here you have the options to create another two profiles so ladies and gentlemen i think this is all for now I hope this was useful. If you find it useful, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, to comment, thumbs up, and so on. Thank you for watching this clip and hope to see you soon to the next one. You take care and bye for now.